So we will do this chapter on faith in gra matine. So basically it means we sleep in. We are going to sleep in. We are going to sleep for a longer time. Se Philip menteno ki rakon son istuar. It's Philip now who is telling his story. Rakon means telling. Who is telling his istuar means story. Pondo le vekons. Je suis allé chez mes grands-parents. During the vacations, I went chez means to someone's home. Chez mes grands-parents, to my grandparents' home. Vous savez comment sont nos grands-parents? So you know how are our grandparents. Ils vous préparent beaucoup de choses. They are going to prepare for you a lot of things. Boku de means a lot, shows means things. Et il prenne soin de vous. So, prendre soin de means to take care of. So, they take a lot of care of you. Il se réveille toujours très tôt. So, they wake up. Se réveille means to wake up. Toujours means always. Très tôt, very early. Et veul que les autres se lèvent aussi très tôt. So this veul is the verb vouloir, which means to want. And they also want that the others are waking up really early as well. On peut jamais faire une grasse matinée chez eux. We can never, jamais means never. Faire means to do. Yun gras matine to sleep in chez a at our place. So now there is a dialogue. Un dimanche matin. So one Sunday morning. Mami, Philippe, tu es déjà réveillé? You are already up? No, Mami, pas encore. Pas encore means not yet. Tu dors encore? Dors is the verb dormir. Means to sleep. Are you still sleeping? Maintenant, je ne dors plus. Je ne, this verb dormir, plus. Which means I'm not sleeping anymore. Avec toi, with you, je ne peux pas jamais faire la grasse matinée. With you, I can never sleep in. So, mommy says, Mais c'est bien de se réveiller tôt. It's good to wake up early. So, Philippe says, Ma, Oui, mais pas en vacances. Yes, but not during the vacations. So, mommy says, Mais regarde, je t'apporte un chocolat et un croissant. T'apporte is the verb apporter. Aporte means to bring. I am bringing you or I, I bring you un chocolat et un croissant. Philippe says, no merci, je ne veux rien. I want nothing. No plus verb plus rien means nothing. I want nothing. Je n'ai pas faim. I am not hungry. This is an expression. It is called avoir femme. Now, avoir means to like to have. And in English, we usually say I am hungry. So, we use am. But in French, it's an exception. And instead of using être, we are going to use avoir. So, I can conjugate j'ai femme, tu as femme, il a femme, elle a femme, nous avons femme, so on and so forth. So, mommy says, mange un peu quand même. Nevertheless, Eat a little bit. Philip says, No, mommy, c'est gentil, mais je ne veux rien manger et je ne veux parler à personne. I want to speak to no one. I don't want anything and I don't want to speak to anyone. D'accord, je ne vais jamais te faire le petit déjeuner. I will never make. So if you remember, Fair means to do also and fair means to make also. I will never make your breakfast. Philippe says, Mais mami, je ne prends jamais rien au petit déjeuner. 
So Philip says, but mom, I never take anything. I, I never take anything for breakfast. So in the next scene, Philip says, Wo wo ye kom se difficile dormir she mami? Uh, did you see how difficult it is to sleep at mommy's house? Mommy's house. She means at someone's place. At someone's place. So I can also say she don't tiste. It does not mean that it's the dentist's house. It means that it's the dentist's place. Probably his clinic. I can also say she moi. Means at my house or my place. She me paron at my parents' place. So she basically means uh, a place of living somewhere or mean, means a place of being somewhere. You can also say ma maison. That is also fine. My house. Right? But it's just one way of saying. So Celine, who is probably Philippe's uh, sister, she says, Je suis d'accord avec toi, Philippe. I agree with you, Philip. Je suis d'accord. I agree. With you, Philip. Le dimanche, on a toujours envie de faire la grasse matinée. On Sunday, we always have a desire. Avoir envie de. To have a desire of. Faire le gras matiné. To sleep in. Personne n'aime se lever tôt un, un dimanche. No one. Personne, no one. If you remember. No one likes to wake up early, at least for the Sunday. Louis says, oui, rien n'est pire que se réveiller tôt en vacances. Peer means worse. Nothing is worse than waking up early in the morning, uh, during vacations. Elena says, C'est tard, je dois partir. It's late. So, to meant early. Tard means late. C'est tard, it's late. Je dois partir. I need to go. So, Celine and Louis says, Nous aussi, on se voit demain. We will see each other tomorrow. This was your text. Now, moving forward to the questions. First question is, Où est Philippe? So, you have to find, Où means where? Where is Philippe? Qu'est-ce que mami apporte pour Philippe? What does mami bring? Pour means for. For Philippe. Right? Question number two, Dites vrai ou faux? Tell if it's true or false. Philippe aime faire la grasse matinée. Philippe loves to do the uh, sleeping in. So this verb is aimer, to like or to love. Philippe ne prend jamais le petit déjeuner. So Philippe never takes breakfast. C'est facile de faire la grasse matinée chez les parents. It's easy to sleep in uh, at your grandparents' house. Philippe aims se réveiller tôt le dimanche. Philippe likes to wake up early uh, in the, uh, during the weekend on Sunday. So you have to say if it's vrai, true or faux, false. Question number three is, trouve le contraire du texte. You have to find the contrary. Facile means easy. So opposite can be difficile. Se coucher. I'm not giving you the answers. I'm just, I'll just explain this. Se coucher means to go to sleep, to go to bed. Tar, we already discussed, is late. Méchant means naughty. Right. This is your question. For the grammar part, we have les expressions négatives. Means negative expressions. Now, we already know the very basic one, how we say it. For example, I say, je mange, uh, je mange le petit déjeuner. I want to say, I don't eat breakfast. I would say, je ne mange pas le petit déjeuner. 
right no plus verb plus pa that's my formula now we have some uh, advanced expressions also so your advanced expressions are basically these i'll just zoom it in yeah so we have three uh, three boxes three columns in fact first is affirmative means positive sentences negative negative sentences and example your examples positive is kelka shows or tooth something or everything kelka shows or tooth negative would be na riya nothing riya na you can also uh, interchange it riya na so for example tu va manger kelka shows do you want to eat something negative would become this is positive negative would become no je ne veux rien manger no i don't want to eat anything not anything or i want to eat nothing second sentence is this is positive quelque chose se passe ici something happened here rien ne passe ici rien ne se passe ici sorry nothing happened here so this is beginning with, with nothing nothing is our subject here right it's like that second one you have is kelka or tul mond this is pronounced as tul mond kelka tul mond someone or everyone tul mond means everyone kelka means someone the negative would be no person or person na il y a quelqu'un dans cette maison is there anyone in this house no il n'y a personne dans cette maison so again na plus your verb plus person or again just like we did for ria quelqu'un veut ce livre does someone want the books person no wants the livre no one wants the books no one wants it Let, let's write this no one wants it right then you have toujours toujours means always the negative would be never always never ne jamais tu manges toujours dans ce restaurant do you always eat in this restaurant No, je ne mange jamais. I never eat in this restaurant. This was easy. Fourth one is encore. Still, do you still do this? No, I don't do this anymore or no more. It's ne plus. Vatil encore tu gato? Do you still want the cake? No. Uh, does he still want the cake? Sorry. No, il ne veut plus de gato. No, he does not want the cake anymore. Again, same logic. No plus your verb plus either plus, rien, person, all the negatives, etc., etc. Then fifth one, you have déjà, which means already. The negative of it, the negative of already would be not yet. Have you already left for the station? No, not yet. So it's no plus verb. plus pas encore tu fini déjà tes devoirs no je ne fini pas encore mes devoirs i have not yet finished it then you have quelque part quelque part means somewhere the opposite would be nulle part ne plus verb plus nulle part va t il quelque part en vacances no il ne va nulle part uh, is he going uh, for vacation somewhere no he is not going anywhere or he is going nowhere right then this seventh one is when you have some list of things for example je mange le gâteau et uh, l'orange a list of something i eat this and this and this so on and so forth 
but negative would be i neither eat this nor that so for that you have na ni and ni for example prefer til le te a le cafe does he prefer le te a le cafe does he like tea and uh, what does he prefer tea and coffee no il no prefer ni le te ni le cafe so after na no, there is a verb after ni there is the object after ni then there is your second object tu manges du chocolat et du gâteau do you eat chocolate and cake no je ne mange ni chocolat ni gâteau right and if you see the partitif articles that we did the du the la de the l apostrophe all this is removed you just write na ni and ni directly that's your negatives in advanced there are some things that you need to pay attention to and these things are first all negations are placed after the first verb first verb for example je uh, let's write jem mange la pomme i like to eat apple two verbs aime and mange my negation will be on the first verb je nem pa mange la pomme i don't like to eat right so first verb always but there are exceptions with no person and no nul par for example tu veux rencontrer quelqu'un uh, would you like to meet someone no je ne veux rencontrer personne ve rencontre vouloir verb and rencontre verb person is not coming here instead it is coming at the end that's one exception second is for nul par so tu ve aller quelque part do you wish to go somewhere verb vouloir this is verb 1 aller is verb 2 so usually what we do is before the before and after the first verb we put uh, the negations so ideally it should have been tu na va pa right or tu na va nul pa but this is an exception and both the verbs are going to come in the middle no je ne va aller nul pa second if second is if kelka kelka was someone tulmond everyone kelka shows something tut all are the subjects they are the subject everyone is going to come someone is going to come something has happened all are coming to the party if they are the subjects of the sentence in negative riya and person are also used as subjects these are the riya and person are negatives of someone or everyone person is the negative of someone and everyone for something and all the negative is riya so for example eske tul mond via se soir does everyone come this evening no person na va via se soir then we have to march bia all is well to is the subject here just like person was the subject here tul mond everyone was the subject here tut again is everything is the subject here everything is working fine no riya na manj bia no nothing is working fine that is why we'll write it in the beginning and this will act as a subject after that we have the third one which is na ni ni which was for the uh, list of objects if there is a partitif article before the two choices it is removed 
Vous voulez du jus et du coca. Du is participle article. So what we'll do is we'll remove this while we are making it into negative. No, je ne veux ni jus ni coca. Similarly, il mange du poulet et de crab. Two options we have. So our partitive is du and de. So partitives are basically du, de, de, la and the l apostrophe. So I will change it into no, il ne mange ni poulet ni crab. That is your negative. That's your advanced negatives. Now you have a few questions. You can probably do it. And that's, that completes your chapter 4 of Mompas Poor.